and welcome back to another Blender tutorial video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a sci-fi blaster animation. So as always, let's just get straight into it. So what you want to do first is go over here, press tab on the cube, go to faces, E1 to extrude that out by one, E1 on the bottom, then you want to press select both of these faces while holding shift. Then you want to press E, then H to extrude that out very far. To add a little more geometry here and make it the blaster a little more interesting, what you want to do is press R, Y, then 30. And go on the bottom one. R, Y, negative 30. To give it a little more concentrated look, then you want to go to the back, press E to extrude, maybe around 5, E5. Go on both of these, press E, and then maybe 3, to extrude these out by 3, then you want to rotate these, R, Y, 30, R, Y, negative 30. Then you want to bring these down on the z-axis. Press 1 to go into orthographic to make sure. There we go. Now we're getting typical, a little sci-fi-ish blaster front over here. Now we just need to work on the back. E to extrude out. We scale this up a little. Now we want to make the trigger part. So maybe we want to go down here. Inset this. I to inset also. Extrude this out make the mag then what we want to do over here is probably make the trigger so inset this like that maybe scale it a little on the x-axis and the y-axis just a little and, and then extrude that just a little inset it once again s x s y to flatten it and then extrude extrude another time and press 1 to go into orthographic and then just rotate this so control z that I need to redo that because I messed up extrude, rotate a little, extrude rotate, extrude you get the idea just rate, rotate it until it looks like Extrude and rotate until it looks like a trigger. This might need a little more work because I'm not very good at this. But I think I did an okay ish job. Okay, so once you've got your little trigger part done, for mine, I just extruded, I just extruded this out, rotated it, extruded the long part out, and then rotated it again. I'm still not very good at making those, as you can tell. Then what you want to do for the, so modeling the, the blaster, is just press shift A, put in a cylinder, go to add cylinder, increase the vertice count to 100. R X ninety to rotate it. Maybe scale it up a little by pressing S. That looks just about right. So press Shift to select the other mesh. Control J to join them together. And then we want, what we want to do next is press Tab. And we want to inset this. 
inset the side a little. Press I to inset, and then point eight, not point eight. Just inset a little. Maybe right around there. Extrude that just a little. Do the same for the other side. Then go, on, then go over here. Inset these. Control Z that because I didn't do a very good job with it. Then you want to click two sides at once and then extrude them in. What I'm doing, what we're doing now, is just adding a little more geometry to our blaster mesh. Scale this down, maybe extrude it in. Same thing for this side, inset, I to inset, E to extrude. Nope, that doesn't look too good. Uh, I think this looks good, fairly well built for now. Maybe, what, maybe what, what we want to do is press on to both these faces and scale that down. Oops. I don't know if this is an optional step. If you want to make this just a little more angled, I'm just going to undo all what I just did there and scale this down to give a more angled and more aggressive look to it. You don't have to do this. Okay, so since I did that, what we want to do next is start texturing this. Maybe you want to go over here, add in all of these places, highlight all the insets that we did, and make that glow. Go over here to the mesh. Actually, first of all, you want to make the base color, maybe like a grayish color, metallic. A little less rough. Give it a clear coat. Make this an emission shader. Maybe a scale of 25. Strength. Assign. Press tab. Z rendered. As you can see, it looks a little bland right now. It's because we haven't textured all of it. And what, since we're using EV render engine, you want to turn on. In the occlusion, blooms, green space reflections, and simplify. As you can see, the lights now has a bit of a bloom to them, so a little more pizzazz, per se. So what you want to do next is go through the entire mesh and just start texturing. Maybe adding a couple more insets and de details around the mesh to make it a little more beautiful. So I'll be right back as soon as you guys do that. Or if you don't, you can skip the desired... Uh, Time timestamp right here that I'm gonna put in pre-editing. So I'll see you guys when I'm done. Or if you want, you can just watch.
Okay, hello everybody, I am back. So as you can see, I've made a couple of changes to my version that I made. So if you want to know how I got this Tron-like border effect, I clicked on the object, or the mesh that we made, or blaster, whatever you want to call it. I pressed Shift D, I clicked, and I went, went I clicked on the second mesh, went to modifiers, added in a wireframe modifier onto it, then went to textures, deleted all these textures, and assigned the wireframe around it a image and texture. So next, we'll just get into the particle system and how we can uh, shoot some lasers. So you want to do is press Shift A, insert in a plane R X ninety, R Z ninety, drag it across. All right, you put it right there. This is going to be our emitter. Versus you to get this. Go back to solid to get this blew my effect out of my face. So let's make sure this is directly on by dragging this back. Maybe around there. Put in a go to physics tab and insert some new physics. Emitter number, bring that down maybe to ten. As you can see if you play it poops out little tiny uh, emissions. You want to raise the velocity. To make that shoot out a lot faster. So it's gonna be pew, 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 pew. Still not fast enough though. You wanna go back to velocity, increases maybe to 100. Let's test which ones work the best. That seems to be where going straight. So we're gonna bring that down, go into, if I can find it, render, render as object. Now what we want to do is create, press shift A, insert an icos, you want, you want to insert an icosphere, I mean not an icosphere, I'm sorry, I meant a cube, and this is going to be our laser object. Let's bring it over here, X on then the Z axis up top, press tab, Extrude this on. Oops, sorry. Extrude one side at a time. Or not even that. Let's make it a little simpler. Drag that off. Click on both sides and then E S. Click on one side at a time. I still need to get used to that. Scale that down and scale the other side down. Scale it down a little more. Maybe a little bigger. Bring that over here there in the back so we can't see it. Maybe underneath, way down there. And you want to click back onto your plane, which is your, and then select the instance object to be cube number two. 002, which is our laser down there. So if you click play, they go by very fast. So let me just do this frame by frame. As you can see, you have a little teeny tiny cube down there. What we can do is go to extra, Oop, not extra, go to scale, and up the scale a little. You make that a 0.5. And then you want to go into your object. You also want to take off show emitter. So, it doesn't show in your actual animation, and you want to take on object rotation. Now, whenever you rotate this object, it's going to rotate the actual emission object. So, RZ90, and then we have that like that. And you want to put an emission texture on this, maybe a white or red one, whatever you want. For now, maybe I'll put in a classic red laser emission. Make that red. That laser is actually looking pretty small. Gee, raise that up. Control Alt Zero to lock our camera into place. We 
give this a wider angle, 30 millimeters, zoom in, go into the world, and bring that down to black. Maybe even raise the samples to 100, turn on motion blur, it's going to render the view. As you can see, you can really see the gun pop, or the blaster pop, because of the wireframe we gave it. Oops, I forgot to change this to red. Nice bright red color. Maybe even bump this up to 100. There we go. Now we get that red flare out of it. Bring that out of camera view. Actually, with this, you want to bake it to, be, to make it render a little faster. So you want to go over here and then into Cache and Bake Dynamics. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> As you can see, you've successfully made the laser animation. And then you want to go up here to File and click Save. And name your file. And then, if you are using Blender 2.81, you want to go into the Compositing tab and set up the denoise nodes. If you want to uh, learn how to do that, I have a tutorial on that. I'll link that in the description also. We'll get to the render settings. We'll go down here, set it select the file output and name it, changes to FFmpeg video, encoding, MPEG4, from uh, medium quality to high quality, good to real time. Then you can just change the resolution to whatever you want, 4K, 1080p, just type in the numbers right there. And you can change the samplings in rendering or the viewport. Viewport I'll put up to 32 since my computer can handle it. So once you've done that, you want to go over here to render image or render animation. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. If you like my videos in general, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!